Welcome to Real Sense, and in this video, I'm gonna preview the first solid state portable power station. And that was announced by this company called Joshino. They reside in California, and according to their website, they plan to release multiple units this year. And you can see in this video how those products look, and I'm gonna talk about the specs and what you can expect. But first, let me tell you why solid state technology is so exciting. So, solid state batteries don't have any flammable liquid electrolyte found in traditional lithium ion batteries. Batteries. And this has multiple benefits. It makes the battery safer by reducing the flammable material. It increases energy density so batteries can be smaller and lighter. And Yoshino claims that solid state batteries provide twice the power per pound of traditional lithium ion batteries. And also they can be charged quicker than lithium ion batteries. If you want to know more about solid state batteries, stay tuned because I'm going to make a video about solid state versus lithium iron versus LFP. All right, so the first product Yoshino revealed is the B330 SST. And as you can see from these specs, it does 330 watts. So this is going to be the typical low end carry on battery used for camping and smaller activities like charging phones, laptops and batteries. And as you can see, it has four USB outputs, two USB A's and two USB C's. One of the USB C's is 100 watts, so it's fast charging. It has two 12 volt DC outputs and two AC outputs at max 330 watts. And on the top, it has a light bar with the power button and the Wi-Fi button. And on the back, it has a DC input and an XT60 connector for solar and car input. The next one is the B660 SST. And this one is very similar to the B330, but this one has three AC outputs and it does 660 watts. And like the B330 SST, it has the same four USB outputs, the two 12 volt outputs, the same light bar, and on the back, it has the same XT60 connector with the DC input. So this product is the low to mid range portable power station. Next on the lineup is the B2000 SST. And this one, as the name states, it does 2000 watts and it has a 1326 watt hour battery. In the front, it has four USB outputs, two 12 volt DC outputs, the light bar and the power button. And on the back, it has four AC outputs, an AC input and an XT60 connector for solar or car input. And at the top, it has wireless charging for your phone. And this makes the B2000 their mid-range portable power station. So last but not least is the B4000 SST. And this is their top tier portable power station and it can do 4,000 watts and a capacity of 2,611 watt hours. They claim you can add and connect additional batteries to increase a total capacity, but there's no specifications on that yet. And in the front, it has the same USB and DC outputs as the B2000 SST. And on the back, things are more interesting. It only has two AC outputs, but it has a circuit breaker and a 30 amp connector, which you can hook up to your RV or to your home. And it has a DC EXTN connector which lets you connect this thing to a EV charger and supercharge this thing super quickly. So this is gonna be their top end like I mentioned before and it's super versatile. You can pretty much charge anything with this thing, even an e-bike as it's showing their promotional videos and even an RV in the cold weather. And since this is solid state technology, the battery doesn't take that much of a hit in low temps. So it has a 2,500 cycles to 80% capacity, which makes it a very stable and long lasting battery. All right, so I made this table to summarize all the specs in one easy format. So you can pause and take a look at each one so you can compare them. As of this video, Yoshino hasn't revealed the prices yet, but I would expect them to be pricey because this is new technology and they all have advanced features like Wi-Fi, UPS, and fast charging USB-C. All right, so I hope you like this video. Comment down below what you think about solid state technology and what you expect going forward. I hope Yoshino comes out with these products soon so I can review them. So stay tuned. Bye.